That's what's facing so many of people right now. Today, many of them demanded to go back to work. One protest was at DFW Airport. And there, it's not just employees, but also passengers feeling the fallout. Teresa Woodard there tonight, live with much more for us. Teresa. John, today the Air Traffic Controllers Association said in a live interview with CNN that they believe flying is less safe today than it was one month ago. However, we spent some time on the ground here at DFW Airport with the people responsible for keeping you safe each and every day. And they say despite no paychecks coming in, your safety would never be compromised. While their colleagues rallied outside, and they shut down. Hundreds just kept working inside. For traveling passengers, it's a usual Wednesday. For TSA agents, it's the 26th straight unusual day at the office. I have to tell my kids, I don't know where it's coming from. Becky Mancha got emotional talking about how hard it is to work without a paycheck. We don't go out to eat anymore. Uh, I make bring my lunch every day. There are 14 to 1500 TSA agents in North Texas and none of them know when they'll get paid. It's not fair for us to be expected to do this. It's a distraction in a job that demands focus. It really does cause security concerns. And after September 11th, flight attendants know we can't be the first line of defense with security. We can't afford distraction in, in the cockpit, and we can't afford distraction in this entire team effort to take, take care of our passengers and maintain safety and security. Is it difficult to stay conscientious when you're not getting the paycheck? Not for me, because I know what the mission is, and I'm gonna to come to work with 100% focus to do this job. They promise passenger safety will not suffer, even though these workers are. I came on with TSA and, you know, the first thing I was told was that, you know, I was there to make sure the public was safe when they went on a trip. And I want to continue that. So our passengers can rest easy. We've got your back. That airplane doesn't leave unless it's safe and secure. That'll never change. Now, just a couple of hours ago, Love Field tweeted a reminder that passengers should arrive an hour and a half to two hours before their flights this weekend. Remember, it is approaching a holiday weekend, and there is the possibility that TSA agents could decide to do what some agents across the country have done, and that's call in sick, and that could end up having longer lines at security checkpoints. Right now, the DFW checkpoint right behind me running right at about 15 minutes or so. Live at DFW Airport, Teresa Woodard, Channel 8 News. And